reports go, 30 seconds until liftoff. T-minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Engine's full power. And let's go. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. We're now at T plus 35 seconds into the fifth rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Coming up in just a few seconds, we'll hear the call out for stage one throttle down. Stage one throttle down. Falcon 9 engines throttling down to help pass through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. This period is known as max Q, and once the vehicle moves, there we just heard that the vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Once through max Q, we'll throttle those Merlin engines back up. Copy, one Bravo. That call out for one Bravo means we're in the second and final abort mode for the first stage, continuing to get good performance. The crew is already pulling over two Gs. And next up is going to be a couple of events in rapid succession. First will be engine chill on the second stage and back engine. engine. And there you heard that call out. And then we'll have Miko or main engine cutoff where the nine engines igniting will cut off in preparation for second stage separation. Then we'll see the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage ignite and continue to carry the crew five astronauts to orbit. Just like we did on first stage, that MVAC chill is intended to help pre-chill the hardware prior to the full flow of that densified liquid oxygen. Stage one throttle down. At this point in time, those nine Merlin engines are beginning to throttle down in preparation for MECO or main engine cutoff. Standing by for MECO. And Miko. Stage two alpha. And Stage separation confirmed. Copy two alpha. There we should see that second engine begin to ignite now. Okay. And obviously confirmed by the loud cheer behind us here at Mission Control Hawthorne. And we're also in two alpha for the aborts if needed. Again, second stage is lit and continuing to carry the crew five astronauts into orbit. We're now getting a view of the first stage uh, after that stage separation. The second stage is still being illuminated by that single Merlin vacuum engine and that's on the right hand side of your screen. First stage on the left hand side of your screen making its way back to Earth. We will be attempting to land it on our drone ship, um, which today we're using just read the instructions. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. hear that acquisition of the ground station in Bermuda. The first stage is continuing to make its way back to Earth, and the second stage is going Dragon, to continue. SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Another good call, trajectory nominal. Drop and copy. Confirmation there from Commander Nicole Mann. You can also sort of see the, the Space Coast there in the background of the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. It also looks like you can actually see the thrust plume uh, created by the first stage as it's now rotating just out of screen. 
second stage is going to continue firing until a little over eight minutes into the flight, really doing the heavy lifting now, getting the crew into orbit. Everything continues to look nominal on both first and second stages. As I mentioned before, the first stage will be making uh, a, a landing on one of our drone ships, which is currently parked a couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. So we can see now that... Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory help. Good confirmation there that we have good trajectory. The second stage now traveling over 5,400 miles per hour. Crew is pulling a little more than one G right now. That's going to continue to ramp up, peaking just before we get to second stage cutoff here in just a few minutes from now. First stage will be performing two separate burns, a re-entry burn where we reignite three of the Merlin back, or excuse me, the Merlin M1D engines on the first stage. Uh, we ignite the center engine into radial, radial engines to help slow it down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. And then the second final burn, and that will be the landing burn on our drone ship. And the single M back engine Dragon that you see. Trajectory helmet. The single MVAC engine that you see, see on the right of your screen is continuing to fire. We did hear another call out that trajectory is nominal. Crew heading in the direction that they are supposed to be. This single engine can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space. Now over 200 kilometers in altitude. We will start to hit events now in a rapid succession as the first stage continues to make its way back to Earth and the second stage continues its burn, just a couple minutes left in that burn. For those of you just joining us, just over six and a half minutes ago, uh, our four Crew-5 astronauts launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and they are now making their way into orbit on the second stage inside Dragon. Crew Dragon. Which we're hearing that the trajectory on that is nominal. Uh, Dragon copy. They are in, safe inside uh, Dragon Endurance, whereas the first stage on the left hand side of your screen uh, is making its way back to Earth. We are coming up to the re entry burn, which, as I said before, we ignite three of the nine Merlin engines to help slow the booster down as it re enters the dense part of the Earth's atmosphere. As the entry burn completes, we'll be in the Stage final... Stage one, entry burn startup. So there we heard the call two, out. You can there see it on your screen that that entry burn has been initiated. And as that entry burn completes, we'll be in the final um, different abort phases here shortly, which essentially correspond to areas along the very northeastern seaboard of the U.S. Stage and then, one entry burn shut down. Great news, that entry burn was shut down. And then those last all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, Atlantic off the coast of Scotland for those abort zones. Everything continues to look nominal for both the first and second Stage stages. And the crew with the second stage still attached is now traveling over 13,000 miles per hour. We're about 10 seconds away from Seco 1. Copy, Shannon. Shannon, Stage call one, out. Transonic. That call out for Shannon, Ireland, indicative of our final abort zone. After this, we'll see second stage shut off and we'll be listening for confirmation of a good orbit, which tells us the crew and Dragon are exactly and where they need to be. Down. And there we had confirmation that the stage MVAC one landing burn. has shut down simultaneously. Uh, the entry- Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. And you heard that call for a good insertion. We will coast for a few minutes. 
There we can see the drone ship coming into view as Falcon 9 Launch attempts. Stage one landing leg deploy. We can see those landing legs have now deployed. And as you can see on your screen, and you can hear by the clapping and cheering behind me, Falcon 9 has landed on our drone ship just through the instructions, parked off the coast of Florida. And there is separation. Dragon separation confirmed. And Dragon, did you ask right there? Dragon copy again. And Dragon meets your launch right there on Dragon on behalf of the entire launch and recovery team. It was an honor and a pleasure to be a part of this mission with you. And while October 3rd may belong to the Mean Girls, October 5th will forever belong to Crew 5. Godspeed endurance. Cheers. Awesome. Thank you so much to the Falcon team. Woo! That was a smooth ride up here. we got three rookies that are pretty happy to be floating in space right now. And one uh, veteran astronaut who's pretty happy to be back as well. Let's see what you got to say, Koichi. Uh, soccer team, uh, you know, it was a smooth ride, and uh, I see all the three happy faces here in, back in Zero G, and I appreciate all the help to give us the smooth ride and training, and thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Anya. Uh, thank you, Falcon 9 and uh, our fellow uh, agencies, uh, to Ross Cosmos, NASA, and JAXA, and C6 exactly for uh, giving us that opportunity. We're so glad to do it together. And uh, thank you for everybody, for all people who with us. Спасибо большое всем агентам Ross Cosmos, NASA, JAXA и, естественно, SpaceX за предоставленную нам возможность. Мы рады всем экипажам делать то, что мы сейчас делаем. И большое спасибо всем людям, кто сейчас с нами. Some really nice words there from the Crew 5 crew, as well as... And Dragon Falcon 9, see you. Thanks for the words. Uh, we had a great ride. Have a good mission. We'll see you later. And Dragon, cameras are internal. Also getting some great views inside the capsule here, so if you all want to get a chance to talk about your indicator, we'd all love to hear some. Absolutely, Mike. So, uh, a couple years after he come up with his groundbreaking theory of special relativity, Bert Einstein, in his mind, still had a couple loose ends to tie up. While he was sitting in the patent office, because he wasn't famous yet, definitely should have been, he had what his happiest thought of his entire life. That thought was, person in free fall doesn't feel their own weight. That thought, along with some others that he built upon, led to general relativity and our understanding of gravitation and curvature of space time. We're experiencing Einstein's happiest thought continuously, like the International Space Station has been doing for over 20 years. On Crew 5, call this little guy our free fall indicator. We're here to tell you there's plenty of gravity up here. In fact, that's what's keeping us in orbit right now and preventing this trip on a Crew Dragon from being a one-way trip. A little bit like life. We live in the same world. We live in the same universe. Sometimes we experience it in a very different way from our neighbors. We can all keep that in mind. Hopefully we can all continue to do absolutely amazing things, do it together.
Well, that was excellent, Josh. We appreciate you all taking the chance to share with us some of those special words and some of the meaning to you all.